Hello, today I'm showing you the recently released Jolly Cloud operating system. Uh, I am very impressed with this. Uh, for you that don't know much about it, it's, uh, it is an operating system obviously. It's been designed uh, particularly for netbooks, uh, basically to give it a new lease of life. You know, so if you've got an old le netbook, I rec definitely recommend you installing this because it's because it's a cloud operator system. It's out there in the cloud, as such. Uh, it's heavily based on Linux, and uh, I've been very impressed with it so far. I've had it installed for a couple of days uh, on my uh, on my laptop. Oh, not 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 laptop. Sorry, <laughs> on my laptop. And uh, my laptop wasn't old and it was really old and uh, it was running Windows XP and I installed this to give you a new lease of life basically and it's done the trick. I said even though it's installed, you know, been designed specifically for netbooks, you can use laptops, you can also dual boot in from Windows. I'm actually running this in parallels on the Mac just so I can do a screencast. You see it's the jelly cat. Well, once you've installed it, which is available at www.jollycloud.com and uh, once you downloaded it and installed it, this is basically your interface. If I zoom in a bit. Uh, these across here are apps, so you've got uh, Chromium, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Gmail, Google Docs, Schema, so on. I said all these are apps. Uh, at the bottom, we got like uh, round circles, which if I click on, you see it take me to the next page. And I've got more. So basically, if I go back onto here, if I click on add, now these are all the applications I can add now onto the operating system uh, there's plenty to choose from and they're all category in categories and it's really simple to add a application which is what I will show you now so let's see if I can find something interesting so you click on uh, add-ons see the different add-ons social media which I've already added some because I've been testing it out. Music, I don't think I've got much music once installed at the moment. As you can see, there's, I think there's a, around 700 plus applications, so there is plenty to choose from. Got loads of pages. Uh, oh, I know I'll go down to install if I can find it. I think it's called uh, YouTube Music. It's where he searches for music on YouTube. I could be wrong. Go more gone past. Actually, I think I have. Yeah, I believe it could be this one here, Tube Radio. So if I click on that now, and as you can see, it's turned to Edit. So if I go back to the home menu, which you click on the A up at the top, there it is, Tube Radio. Now if I click on the word Tube Radio, or even on the icon itself, it will bring you up the application. Tube Radio helps you find, organise and listen to music videos on the web. So I'm going to search for... Uh, let's see. Oh, I've closed it by accident. Who's research for? I oh, know. I spot that wrong. <laughs> I 
we see there's like different stuff is still searching at the moment. It looks like I've got to log into that particular one, which I haven't got accounts, but still it actually shows you how the, that particular works. If I go to something that I do know that works without having to uh, log in, obviously YouTube, plenty to choose from. Uh, so you just click on this one. What's up, everyone? John Rick, Jimmy Technology. You start playing. Like I said. So, all these are basically like applications that runs in the, in the, in the cloud. Uh, I believe they lost to heavily use HTML5, which is the future. No. I am knocking Flash at all, but HTML5 is the way forward. So that's how you install apps and obviously you got the two buttons at the here to scroll your pages. If I go back up to the top here and click on like a satellite dish, uh, it tells you information about my activities, uh, following and followers, which I haven't been able to figure out how to add followers as yet, which is a bit weird. But obviously, this has only just been released, so I suppose it's uh, features that I'm going to be adding on sometime soon. Uh, folder is where I can access, obviously, uh, my information, my hard disk drive, uh, USB drive, flash drives, CD ROMs, and DVD ROMs, and so on. Also, the web, right, where is again cloud storage you can select from box uh, net uh, dropbox and so on i personally i use dropbox so i can click access to that it'll bring up the uh, the uh, browser obviously i'll go sign in which i'm going to bother now and it will install a application onto jolly cloud for you and also you've got an account you can see membership history, favorite apps, and devices, so on. And this device, it says not supported. This is not officially supported because I'm running on the Parallels you, uh, virtual machine. But I will say that there are loads of uh, supported apps actually there. And when you're installed, you get the option to select a supported uh, computer if your particular model is listed overall it's uh, well as you can see it's quite simple as you can see I've just gone back onto that tab because at the top here you got tab bars which are open uh, applications uh, ignore the start shut down suspend config because that's the parallels configuration here is a nice little search bar so you can search for applications and the web so if I search for geeks tech now obviously you can search on Jolly Cloud which searches for the applications or I could search on Google which I'm just going to search Google it brings it up and now I can uh, search for why search for Geeks Tech this way I'm going to click on that open it up and there we go seriously this is a, if you have got a uh, an old netbook or laptop that's on its last legs completely format the hard drive get this installed because it's going to bring in a new lease of life I'm very happy with this I'm going to be using it a lot for Twitter Facebook to an analyzer so that sort of stuff. It's going to be more of a social media for me than anything else. Um, I'll say there's loads of applications. I believe there's like 700 plus. One click in store. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can search the web. Uh, updates. Touch the updates, which I'm going to start that update now. Which is downloading. Very simple, very fast. Uh, I can't fault it, really. 
and some of the features I'm planning on adding is going to be even better like uh, the uh, the stream here then I'm going to like uh, add on to that and by the looks of it they, you can follow people uh, you can see what people's um, favorite picks are so like your friends picks these are what your friends are using or applications uh, featured apps exactly what size on the tent these are the most uh, used and recommended apps and it's just a clean overall based can't go wrong seriously cannot go wrong I'm happy I'm definitely recommending the uh, Jolly Cloud which can be downloaded now on jollycloud.com and if you've got an old laptop old netbook get this installed I'm going to give this a GT ratings of 4 out of 5 at the moment because uh, it can be a little bit confusing or falling in their settings and so on but uh, can't complain really apart from that apart from the settings and the features that ain't been uh, installed as of yet but uh, right, apart from that I'm recommending it well that's it I'm going to show you down now which is again nicely done are you sure you want to quit the season I'm going to shut, click on shut down and, and there we go well that's it for me and as always you can find me on www.geekstech.co.uk twitter.com forward slash 4 geekstech uh, youtube.com forward slash geekstech where you can subscribe and write all our videos uh, we've got live.geekstech.tv which is our live video feed and if you have any questions or queries or maybe your company you want to send me something to review because I love to review products send me an email at wayne at geekstech.co.uk well until the next time I will see you later